Hello friends, welcome to Technique. This is Normal here, and in this video, we're going to share some of the best tips and tricks you can try out on the OnePlus 6. So OnePlus 6 is the latest flagship device from the company, and this uh, comes with 6.28 inch uh, Full HD Plus resolution display, the Snapdragon 845 octa-core chipset. It has uh, 8 GB RAM as well as 6 GB RAM, and it comes with Oxygen OS uh, on top of Android 8.1 Oreo out of the box. So the Oxygen OS is perhaps one of the extremely efficient and performing UIs available on an Android smartphone and we know how good the OS is in terms of um, performance so uh, the multitasking, the gaming experience, everything is really good. Now we'll talk about uh, some of the best features or other tips and tricks you can try out on the OnePlus 6. So let's get started. So first uh, is the option to have a grouping of apps uh, uh, on the main uh, screen so once you have multiple apps installed you can just group them accordingly and uh, the smart folders option on the oneplus 6 will automatically uh, change the name uh, to the relevant one for example if you drop a facebook uh, a shortcut onto twitter so we'll just drop it onto Twitter. You can see automatically it creates a social uh, folder. So if you group together a couple of games, then the game folder will be called a games folder. So that's smart uh, folder option. And when you are searching for apps here, so you can see that uh, there are uh, apps which are organized according to the category. So you can see travel and tourism. If you click social, you can see all the social apps uh, listed here. For example, music and video, reading, tools, uh, photo and beauty. So similarly, all the apps are listed and you can easily search them from here so that's a pretty useful option now uh, let's go to the settings panel so here uh, let's uh, see the buttons option so you can see that uh, we have the navigational buttons available here so another option is to disable the navigational button and you can do it from the navigational bar and just so right now it's fixed navigational bar that's what we are seeing right now now you can see hide navigational bar so once uh, you enable it you can uh, see the option to hide the navigational bar so swipe up uh, the bottom of the uh, or bottom to show the navigational bar if you want to stop hiding please tap uh, that icon so that's how you can hide navigational bar the another option is uh, navigational gesture so this is a uh, really uh, op great option because uh, this will uh, reduce use this uh, screen space uh, for navigational bar and so you can see that uh, if you want to go to home screen you can just tap uh, uh, swipe uh, to the center of the screen then uh, recent apps uh, swipe up and uh, hold it then uh, back you can swipe uh, from the right side to go back and you can see landscape mode also you can do that so we'll just demo that feature so if you want to go to home uh, screen so just swipe here uh, we'll just see that's how you go to the home uh, screen now if you want to go to the recent apps so just swipe from here and hold it so you can see that uh, now you can see the recent apps and you can uh, switch between the apps so those are the gestures available so you can uh, enable gestures from uh, the buttons uh, and enable uh, uh, the navigational gestures instead of having the fixed navigational bar which will show up here so this uh, does take some time to get used to but then once you get used to it uh, this is quite a good option available now let's go to uh, the option so we will just come back here fix it navigational bar and you can see if you want to fix it navigational bar press and hold action for home button recent press and hold action so you can just configure all of them now next step let's talk about some of the other gestures available on this device so uh, selecting just as you can see long press to take a photo so from the viewfinder uh, uh, screen long press on long press the fingerprint sensor to take a photo so that means you can use the fingerprint sensor uh, while in the camera mode to take a capture then flip to mute so when the incoming call is coming you can just flip the device to mute the device now three finger screenshot is quite popular we have seen on a lot of devices uh, so that's a three finger screenshot uh, taken here so you can also take an expanding screenshot that means full screen uh, screenshot then double tap to wake uh, to uh, wake up the device is included then there is also music control option then draw o you can select an app for example if you want to open camera using the draw o app application so select here and whenever you draw o uh, this will open the camera so similarly there are few more alphabets available so you can customize that you can also change font so there are a couple of fonts available one is uh, the roboto font uh, then there is also oneplus font available 
Now next step, let's go to the display settings. So uh, the phone comes uh, with uh, a notch. So this is the notch included with this UI. So uh, similar to other smartphones right now available, the OnePlus 6 also comes with notch. So in case you don't want the notch, you can have uh, uh, the notch display turned off. That means uh, the area either side of the notch will turn black and the notch as such will be disabled. So how to do that? You can see the notch display is included. So show the notch area that's by default. And if you click uh, uh, this hide the notch area so this will go on black and uh, you can see that the, the regular screen will be available without the notch so that's how you can uh, hide the notch on the one plus uh, six then there is also night mode and reading mode which helps you uh, in uh, uh, having less eye strain when you are uh, reading uh, the phone reading from the phone uh, during the night time then there is also screen calibration you can have uh, different uh, color tones uh, for the display you can see that a couple of uh, color tones are available and you can also select custom color you can have a warmer tone or colder tone based on how you want so that's uh, the screen calibration option and now let's uh, go to the ambient display so ambient display is uh, quite a useful feature so what it does is uh, lift up to display uh, the option so uh, you can see that uh, when you uh, lift the device up it will show the clock the display it will display message and uh, it will also show a new notification so if there is a new notification coming coming up it will wake the screen if you turn on this option so ambient display is uh, another pretty useful feature uh, but then uh, it will take up a bit, a bit of battery as well then there is also themes included so themes uh, as such there is no uh, additional theme supports like what you see on the miui or emui but we have a couple of themes here so one is the default theme then we have the light mode wherein it changes the background to light so this is the light mode then we also have if when if you are using uh, uh, the avengers edition uh, we have uh, another mode uh, that is uh, the avengers uh, edition uh, theme is also included that's available only if you are using the avengers theme then there is accent color uh, you can change the accent color so right now accent color is blue so just select this accent color you can uh, uh, pick from a uh, variety of options available so once you change the accent color so just click uh, here and click ok so now again the theme will be changed so now you can see that accent color is uh, changed you can also change the pulse notification light so in the notification you can do a bit of customization here so default notification battery full battery charging battery low uh, per app notification can be customized here so these are the options available in the display settings now next step let's go to the security option so security has uh, a couple of uh, options including fingerprint scanner face unlock is included so face unlock uh, we also seen uh, on oneplus previous smartphone as well so face unlock is quite a useful feature so we'll just go to the face unlock option so this is a face unlock settings and here you can see that uh, by default the face unlock assistive lighting is turned off so what happens is when you are using oneplus uh, 6 uh, in extreme dark conditions it will not unlock unless you have enabled the face unlock assistive lighting so this once turned on this will light up the screen when uh, using oneplus uh, 6 in extreme dark conditions so that means uh, you won't have to struggle with uh, uh, unlocking the screen without light so that's a useful option then there is app lock uh, uh, so once you select app lock uh, you can uh, you can uh, actually uh, protect your apps uh, using password so you can see here add apps uh, hide notification contents and if you add an app uh, to this list uh, those apps will be locked and will be protected now if you go to the advanced settings uh, we have otg support so if you want to mount an otg uh, uh, i mean drive like a pen drive or any other drive or computer peripherals like a keyboard or mouse you need to enable otg storage so uh, if you want uh, uh, to enable use an OTG uh, cable you need to enable this and uh, this will automatically turned off after 10 minutes of inactivity then there is also gaming mode available so gaming mode is uh, quite useful if you are an extreme gamer so when you uh, when you are playing games uh, you might receive notification which will be distracting so once the gaming mode is turned on you can block all notifications answer calls via speaker then uh, disable automatic brightness uh, network boost can be done that means uh, all other apps uh, uh, network usage will be restricted that means uh, the game will be able to use uh, the complete power of the network so that's the option then you can add the uh, apps for gaming mode so these are the options in the advanced settings now if you go to the home screen uh, you can see there is a home setting so click here you can have the icon pack changed so right now the current icon pack is oneplus 
so you can have round icon pack then uh, square is also included then you can download additional icon packs from the play store and have it changed here so if you want to customize icon uh, packs uh, you can uh, download additional packs from uh, the play store so these are some of the useful uh, options uh, you can uh, try out on the one plus six uh, with oxygen away so if you have this device uh, do try out these features uh, so uh, even though oxygen OS uh, does not have uh, uh, any customized UI and more or less talk Android it offers lots of features which you can try out on this device so that's it for this video this is Nurma signing off thanks for watching hope to see you in our next video have a great day